In this sentence about the famous philosopher Latte Jacobi, there's a comparison. And they have two ways of phrasing this comparison. Less successful compared to, as opposed to less successful than. Turns out that saying less successful compared to is grammatically incorrect. Less than is what is grammatically correct. So all the compared to here, those are out right away. And in C and E now, we have two different structures. C, we just have less successful. So we have basically a whole clause revolving around this adjective, successful, less successful than she had been in blah, 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 versus E, which has a full subject and verb. She had been, subject, verb, she had been less successful than in blah, blah, blah. And the problem we have in E is we also have a subject and verb after the comma, the name and earned. And when we have noun verb, comma, noun verb, that is a structure known as a run-on sentence. So this is grammatically incorrect. We need something to join the two, either a conjunction in between. We need to make one of them a, a dependent clause and the other an independent clause. But that is a grammatical mistake with E. And that leaves us with C, which constructs the comparison correctly, which is not a run-on sentence, and which is by far the best answer choice.